teenage murder suspect is willing to make a deal with Bear County prosecutors this morning. In a jailhouse interview, Julian Martinez says he'd make the step, but the district attorney's office would have to make a bigger one to close the case of Amanda Acosta. Martinez spoke exclusively with Marvin Hurst. Marvin, what kind of deal does he want? Well, Barry, I can tell you it's the kind of deal that any prosecutor in the world would unlikely meet. But, you know, anything's possible. As a matter of fact, I'll let Julian Martinez tell you the lofty details of his proposition. This is my life on the line. It's like fighting for your life. Julian Martinez feels like he's guilty until proven innocent in the murder of Amanda Acosta. He's accused of killing the 17-year-old after a gang-related fight at a party on March 14th. She reportedly was the unintended target of his gunfire. The real target, Raven Moreno, who Martinez knocked out at the party. I didn't shoot at them, and even, even if I were to, it, it wouldn't be at the car. Like, if I was going towards Raven, I would have made sure to get him right then and there. Why not? I already know it's all eyes on me, so why would I shoot at Raven with a whole bunch of cars around me to where everybody could see me, or why would I even shoot at him, and, like, why would I even shoot at him, period, when he's already, like, done? Like, like I said, I don't pray on the weak, and I know that, I know I'm very aware that there was other people in the car, innocent bystanders, so I'm not that heartless, I'm not that cold-blooded that everybody seems to make me try to be like during our jailhouse interview we showed martinez a screen grab of a male in a white shirt from the party i mean i can't deny it's not me because it's clearly me you know what i'm saying we also spoke with him about cell phone video showing him in a gold suv as outlined in his arrest warrant plus the images of him and what appears to be a gun in his pants yeah i mean i've heard that i've heard it from you i've heard it from a detective i i heard well, I only heard it from y'all two, but I haven't seen nothing. Like, I told the detective, there's really a gun. Let me see it. A Bear County grand jury indicted Martinez in the case in June. He's awaiting trial. I know once you get indicted, that don't mean nothing. Like, you can still beat your case. Like, I know, I know uh, a few cases out there, they got indicted and they beat it. So I figured, like... If I didn't do nothing, what am I going to worry about a piece of paper? The teenage murder suspect has a consideration for prosecutors, even though no plea deal has been sent his way. Would you consider taking a plea deal in this case rather than to go to trial? <laughs> Deferred probation. <laughs> That's it. Deferred probation. Deferred probation for a murder charge? Or? Yeah, it sounds crazy. I mean, I know it never happened. That's why I say that, because... Other than that, I'm not taking nothing. Why would I take something for something I didn't do? Martinez says he wants to get out of jail to raise his son, who was recently born. But first things first, he's got to face that murder charge and upcoming trial. By the way, I've posted more of his interview on my Kins 5 Facebook page. Go there and check it out, and we'll have additional parts of this interview on Kins5.com. Reporting live, Marvin Hurst, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.